welcome back to another Tuesday grilling video. And today we're doing something a little different. It's gonna be a dessert item. Tell them what we're making today, McKinley. Strawberry pie. <laughs> Strawberry pie, and we're gonna smoke it. Deb made this in the oven a couple of weeks ago. It was phenomenal. And today we're gonna to modify it slightly for the grill, show you just how it's done. Let us prep the ingredients. All right, so I got my little helper here, and what we are gonna do now is we are gonna to start to prep this. As I mentioned before, it really is a simple recipe. We're actually using pre-made pie crust, the kind that you buy in the store in the, in the refrigerated section and roll them out. Uh, if you wanna make your own, by all means, that would certainly make it even better, but we're doing it the easy way. Ingredients are pretty simple. We're gonna need four cups of sliced fresh strawberries. We're gonna need a cup and a quarter of granulated white sugar, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one third of a cup of flour. And the purpose for the flour is to thicken this up once we have yeah. all these slices in here. So. Our next step is going to be to prep the strawberries. I bought two of these little packs. I don't know how many we're going to need. And I've got my two cup measuring cup here. So I've got my two cup measuring cup where we will put all of our strawberry slices. And we'll put that between us because Swabby's going to help me with all of my slicing here. So when you slice these, what you want to do is just slice them in, I don't know, maybe a quarter to a half inch thick, about like this. You don't want little tiny pieces and you want them to be fairly consistent in size. Um, it's okay if the edges here alter a bit because that's going to give you some varied texture. Are you snacking on them too? <laughs> All right, we can't eat too many. Let's get this filled up. We have to go up to the two cup mark and we're going to do that twice. So I'll cut the tops off and you can start slicing them up over there. And I'm putting still going to eat one more piece. Put them in there, okay? Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. Make sure they all go in there. It's heavy. Okay, put that thing back down. We got to start, we have to fill it up again because we needed four cups. So if we needed four cups and we did two, how many more do we need? Two more. Very good. All right, so we now have our four cups of strawberries. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix together our granulated sugar, our flour, and our cinnamon. And we're just gonna toss the strawberries in that. The idea is, one, it sweetens it. Two, the flour is gonna help thicken it up. So as the strawberries cook down and get juicy, that will help to thicken it. This is a tough part of this. You can decide if you need to adjust the sugar based on the sweetness of your strawberries. A cup and a quarter is for an average sweet strawberry. If you have really sweet ones, you don't have to put quite as, uh, quite as much sugar in it. And obviously, if you are trying to reduce sugar in your diet, you could go without it completely. Um, but sugar really does help it break down and, and leave that nice um, strawberry juice that ends up being in the pie. So I'm gonna clean up the cutting boards and bring out a pie plate with a pie crust on the bottom. We'll toss this all together. We'll pour it in. We'll add some butter on top of the strawberries. We'll put the top pie crust on. By the way, all during this, we've got the uh, Pit Boss smoker at 425 degrees. Now, Pit Boss only goes between four and 450, so I have it set to 400, and I'm hoping that the additional sunlight and heat out here is gonna help boost it up a little bit. Don't know if it will or not. So we might have to adjust our cook time just a little tiny bit. Anything to say? I want strawberries. You want a strawberry? Here. Yay. One more bite. One more bite for me. They are delicious. Okay, let's clean up and, and we'll, sweet. we'll mix up the stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I went ahead and got two spatulas and I'm gonna do that so we can toss this flour and sugar mixture into the strawberries. I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit, the sugar and flour and um, cinnamon. And if you live in a humid area, you'll end up with clumping sugar just like we do. Just break up those clumps. Can I break up the clumps? Sure. You ready? Got this. Mix it very, very softly so it doesn't spill out of the thing. That's super big. Oh, that was a big one, wasn't it? All right, you're breaking them all down. While she's doing that, you can see we went ahead and put our bottom pie crust in here. Um, I just have it pulled over the top so that when we put the next pie crust on, we'll cut holes in the top one because it must vent and then we will seal the edges of this before we put it in the grill. And the good news is the, the grill's running at about 418 right now, so pretty close to that 425 degrees. All right, let me see. 
me just mix this around a little more. 425 degrees? Very hot, huh? Holy moly. Yeah. Okay. So we're now what just going to pour this side? into the, uh, the strawberry mixture. Uh. While I'm doing this, uh. what do you have over there? Uh. Swabby, what do you have in your hand over there? A pterodactyl card. What do you mean? Like a, like a baseball card, but for dinosaurs? Yeah, I guess. Is, I don't like baseball, though. You don't like baseball? Is Can I try it now? Try this? Yeah. No, now that it has flour in it, it won't taste good. The flour has to cook. Oh. And we really want to do this without breaking these all up. So you can see here, I'm just kind of gently mixing it, um, almost turning or folding it in. Ideally, the more you mix it, what's, what you're going to do is you're essentially coating each one of these, um, these strawberries. If you want to take the time to do it, if you sprinkle in your flour mixture between your strawberry uh, strawberries in layers, it would probably be a good way to do it too. Just flatten it out. All right. I'm flattening it out. A little bit more of that on the bottom. Just this one section here. I'm just flattening it out, okay? I think that's going to be um, almost good enough here. A little bit more of that down on the bottom. Now you're going to notice when you do that, some of them are going to start to break up. But it's now time to pour this in here. How about yeah. I, how about I lift Why it up? Why does that look so weird? Because it's broken it up. You want to help scoop them down in there? Okay. And I'll, I'll lean this over that way. You just put them right into a pile there. Can you get it off the top up there too? And now what we want to do is just sort of. Push this all down in here. Man, that looks good, doesn't it? That looks tasty? delicious. That looks delicious. So you want to taste one of these, don't you? Yeah. No, you pick it off with your finger. It's going to be gooey. <laughs> is that delicious? It is. You know, it's going to be sweet with a lot of sugar, huh? Okay, we've taken our top pie crust. I don't know if you can see this here. We've just cut a few slits in it, or some designs. And the reason we do that is because it's real important as this thing gets to steam that it escapes out. Otherwise, the top is gonna be soggy, and what we don't want is a soggy top of our pie. So, let's get this right on here. Oh, it Ooh. looks so pretty. And I'm just gonna go all the way around now, and, and you know, if you've never done this, you basically are going to pinch and twist. And that's gonna give us a nice seal on the edge of the crust. We can kind of see our shape here. We cut a couple of slits, and uh, McKinley wanted to do heart shapes in here. Then that. <gasps> Whoa. Then that. That just looks in, awesome. Just in the middle. There we go. So what we did here is the design that um, Swabby came up with was two opposing hearts with these little strips and a strip across them and a little circle right in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the smoker at about 425 degrees. It's sitting, mine's sitting at about 418 right now. We're going to start to cook this for a little bit. This will take about 35 or 45 minutes. You want to cook it until this top is golden brown. And because we're on a grill, I cannot stress this enough, you're going to want to rotate this and check it frequently. Probably about halfway through, I'm going to take an egg wash and I'm going to brush over the top of this just so we get that nice, darker, um, golden brown to this. This is perfect. We're actually sitting at 430 degrees, so when I open this, I'll let some of that out. But I am going to do this on the top grate. I don't want this sitting directly over the um, the fire pot, even though it's going to be in the center, the hottest part is going to be in the center of this. So I'm going to want to rotate it around different parts of the grill. So let's go ahead and get this in here. Because my heat source is dead center in this, that looks pretty good. I will say I'm happy about this. It's sitting right at 425 there. It says 410 over here. So cooking it on the top is allowing me to get a little bit more of that heat. I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this. Rotate it about a third of the way around, mainly because I did that after 10 minutes. I just set another timer for 10 minutes. I'll rotate it another third. That should give me 25 to 30 minutes and a good rotation all the way around. I'm going to go get an egg wash real quick. And I'm just going to brush the top of that. As you can see, I've got my egg wash right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this down on the bottom shelf for a moment to make it easier to brush this on.
Okay, so we've been in the grill for about 26 minutes or so, and everything looks good and golden brown. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna set it out here to cool, and I'll show you what it looks like. Just take a look at that. Already see it's starting to ooze up a little bit on that side, back side. <laughs> Let me put something underneath it so it doesn't stain the table. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna carry this thing inside. I'm gonna let it cool on the counter. We'll be back in a few hours to taste test this thing. Again, I said this is really simple. What a unique thing to be able to do out on the smoker, get a little tiny bit of that smoke flavor. We're essentially baking it. Let's call it what it is. But when you go tell somebody that you made a strawberry pie on your smoker and they try this thing, they're in awe. <laughs> Um, today is the next day. So we let this pie cool in the refrigerator. We, after we took it out of the um, smoker yesterday, we set it out, let it get to room temperature, and then overnight we put it in the fridge. You wanna go ahead and take a bite? Here, you want me to cut a piece for you? Let's do this. All right, Dad, I want, that is a I want big mine. Open. I want mine, I want this one. Okay, go ahead, scoop it up. Yeah. Whoa, that's a big old bite. All right, let me try a bite. Mm. Tell everybody what you think once you swallow. <laughs> Happy again. All right, well I will tell you, when it's cool, it's really good. It gets a little bit more dense, but it's really sweet. What do you think about it? Um, I say, I give it, if there, if the limit was a thousand, I would give it a thousand. Really? Okay. Well, you heard it there. It sounds like it's a thousand out of a thousand on the rating scale. It's a good time to surprise your kids with it, because it's really good. That's not a bad idea, huh? You can make it and surprise your kiddos? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, you weren't very surprised because you helped make it. I thought we might share that piece. Not so much, huh? <laughs> the last bite is not going to be shared. Bye, y'all. Safe and happy grilling. Bye.